Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Thursday, 9th of November 2023, and today's topic is Faith Always Wins. Praise to all. So, before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Father, for waking us up healthy and strong this morning. Thank you for the gift of life we are not taking it for granted. Thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment in our lives. And thank you for your word we are about to listen this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. And today is Thursday, 9th of November 2023. And today's topic is Faith Always Win. Praise the Lord. First Timothy 6 12 says, Fight the good fight of faith by hold, lay hold on eternal life. And where unto that hath also called him has professed a good profession before many witness. Praise the Lord. That's first Timothy 6 12. The Spirit through the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 6 16 instructs us to use an amazing arsenal of the Spirit, faith. Above all, taking the shield of it, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the wicked. Your faith is a shield. Observe the, set, the certainty of the spirit communication. It says, With the shield of it, you shall be able to extinguish all the fiery dart of the wicked. So don't say, Lord, the trials become, became too much and I didn't know what to do. So I, ha I gave up. No, don't quit. Don't call. Use your faith. Faith always wins. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how or from what direction the devil throws his dart at you. Use your shield of faith. The dart could create some trouble or pain in your body. Stand your ground. Extinguish all the fiery dart of the wicked with your shield of faith. And while at it, remember the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 17. The sword of the Spirit is the word of God from your lips. It doesn't matter the debilitating challenges in your life. Don't be quiet. Keep affirming the word, just as the word prevail in Ephesus at 19 verse 20. It will prevail over that predicament. Hallelujah. Did we get that? Praise to Lord. Faith always win. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. Faith always win all the time and that is why pastor is talking about it this morning hallelujah the, the only way to get victory is your faith your faith always that is why jesus christ said if you only if you can get faith as a grain of mustard seed have you seen grain of mustard seed very tiny i have to use my glasses to look at it and yet it was still tiny in my sight so that is how faith is very important hallelujah faith, your faith is very important you have to build your faith and the only way you can build your faith is studying the word of god and when you see all the great miracles you know that your problems are too small for god not to handle praise the lord god is the almighty is the overdoer he's a good god praise the lord so stand strong that is why when you're going through trials because you know who god is that is not wicked he said the thoughts that he has for us is thought of good not of evil to bring us on expectant and just knowing that word alone will keep you strong in trials and tribulation knowing that your faith has been tested and you know that you're going to come out victorious because he said it he's already said he said you Every trial see work together for your good. Praise the Lord. It always turns out when you look back, you say, Oh, I thank God for these trials because it works miracle for me today. Praise the Lord. So that is what Pastor is helping us to understand. Study the word of God. Grow your faith. Praise the Lord. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I refuse to be discouraged or overwhelmed by the challenges of life. Rather, I see them as opportunities to exercise my faith and prove the power in the world. My faith is the virtue that overcomes the world. I neutralize, quench, put out, and extinguish any fiery dart of the adversary. The word of God on my lips prevail in my life, family, city, and nations in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at 1 Timothy 6, 12, 2 Timothy 4, verse 7, Acts 19, verse 20, and Acts 20, verse 24. 
And when your Bible read the plan, you can look at Hebrews 9 verse 1 to 10 and Lamentation 1 to 2. To your Bible read the plan, John 11 verse 1 to 13 and 4 Chronicle 9. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you've been dead blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you, bless you, bless you. I trust to have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. This is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study the Bible, get to know God, get to know Jesus and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith feed messages such like this and look for Bible church and worship there for strength and for growth. God bless you as you do so in Jesus name. Thank you so much. I trust you have been blessed so much. And if today is your first time, please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video such like this, you will be first to be notified. And please share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus name. So before we go, let's pray father we thank you king of glory we bless you thank you for your word to us this morning indeed we are blessed and we put our faith to use this morning yes all things are working together for our good lines are falling in place and places because we have a good heritage in christ jesus thank you father thank you jesus for in jesus name we pray amen thank you so much you have a great day i'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of god god bless you bye